Okay, here we've got solving a quadratic equation needing simplification. Our directions are easy. Solve for x. Of course, what that means is find what value we could plug in for x to make this thing come out to be true. Well, how do we go about that? First thing, we have to rewrite and simplify the equation. Then we factor it completely. So remember in the, um, the other topic where we had, say, x plus 2 times x plus 3 equals 0, and we did our two little mini problems. We found out what x equals, negative 2 and negative 3. Well, same idea. We've got to get to this point. But, wow, we got looks like we might have some work to do. But it's not really hard work. So here's how we go about it. First, we gather all the terms on one side, because in order to get to this point, we've got to get it equal to 0. So what that means or how we can do that is we can just subtract this whole thing. We could subtract the whole thing, x plus 3 quantity squared, and then we can subtract it over here, minus x plus 3 quantity squared. That's where this came from right here. Okay. Now, in order to get back to this place, we've got to expand the x plus 3 quantity squared. In other words, we've got to get rid of these parentheses. So of course, if we FOIL that out, you know, here's some detailed steps. We FOIL that out, we get x squared, and then plus uh, a 3x and another 3x, which makes 6x plus 9. But remember, the whole thing is being subtracted, right, because of this negative sign. So we have to distribute that negative sign, so we get a negative x squared a negative 6x and a negative 9. So that's this step right here. Combining like terms, we check it out. We see we've got a 2x squared and a minus x squared. That gives us the x squared. We've got an x here and a minus 6x here. That makes a negative 5x. And then We've got a 13 and a minus 9. That makes 4. All right, we're, all, we're getting really close. We've got just a couple more steps. So once we get here, we need to factor. And of course, we know how to factor. And then once we factor, hey, we got it to the, we got it to the, the place we needed it to be. So now we can do our two little mini problems. And of course, our answers are 4 and 1. So let's look at another example. We're solving for w. So the first thing we can do is we could say, oh, all right, I'm going to rewrite everything, minus 15 w plus 29. And I'm just going to subtract the quantity w minus 3 squared, and it's going to equal 0. Great. Now got to FOIL that. Okay, let's see. If we FOIL that, it's w squared minus 3w minus another 3w and then plus a 9. So that's a w squared minus 6w plus 9. And this whole thing's being subtracted. So let's rewrite the whole thing. 2w squared minus 15w plus 29. And then this is going to go next. So I'm just going to distribute this secret invisible negative 1 here, and I'm going to say that's a minus w squared, a plus 6w, and a minus 9. Now I can start combining like terms. Here's a w squared, 2w squared, and a minus w squared, so that makes a w squared. Then we've got a negative 15w and a positive 6w, right, so that makes a 9, a negative 9w, and then we've got a 29 minus 9, that makes a plus 20. So we factor, oh, we got to equal 0. 
we factor this and we say, okay, that's going to be W and W. And then it's plus, so that means both signs are the same. And what are they the same as? This one. So that's a W minus and a minus. So we got to find something that multiplies to give 20 but combines to give 9. That makes 4 and 5. So our answer would be W equals 4 comma 5. There we go. How about one more, just for an extra practice? So here it looks like kind of the same thing. So what if we've got this over on this side? We can still just switch them. And I'm going to say 2y squared minus y plus 64 minus the quantity y minus 6 squared equals 0. That's going to be 2y squared minus y plus 64. And then it's going to be a minus y squared. And then that's going to be a minus 12y minus a minus 12y. So it's going to be plus 12y and then minus 36. Combining like terms, we get y squared plus 11y and then 20, 24, 28, right? So it's going to be a plus 28. We've got a factor. And it's going to be two pluses. What is that? Um, it's four times seven. So our answer is going to be y equals negative four comma negative seven. Ta-da!